Come on. Alright, we're nearly there. How did we do with the equator here? That's fairly close to being an even orbit. That's good. That's going to help us get to the moon that much easier if we can do that. Alright, so let's go back to normal time now. And I'm going to go back to this view just to see how things look. Ooh, it's pretty. Okay, so let's flip this around this way. I'll turn off the ACE. Yeah, I mean the SAS, that would probably help. It was trying to stabilize. I was like, why can't I move? Okay. Let's just rotate this for no particular reason, just to make it look a little prettier. There we go. And lock it off. Start our burn. See how we're affecting things here. So apoapsis is at 156, and that's climbing. So let's give it a little more thrust here. Get that close to 150 and stop. And we're at 157 over here now. That that's not perfect, but you know what? I'm gonna call it pretty good for our first attempt here. Let's check the plane here. How close that is? Well, that's nearly an equatorial. Equ uh, orbit there. So, there we go. Orbit achieved. Why are they freaking out so much still? It's cool, guys. We made it. We could stay like this forever. So let's just try to figure out how we would actually get back to the space center, though. Or near it. I'd like to land somewhere near there. Uh, let's go around once more. I think I'm going to break, start a retro burn at the apoapsis there try to get my orbital path to like collide with the planet there that will probably work I don't know I should probably check how much fuel I have left too actually so let's slow this down oh we got tons of fuel more than half a tank plenty to do this so yeah stable orbit relatively circular we'll be ready for a moonshot in no time alright so let's slow it down and flip this thing facing the other direction there we go let the SAS sort this out here And how do things look? Let's check the map. How are we doing? So I guess what we're trying to achieve in theory would be to have that orbit collide like right about there. There's going to be atmospheric drag though. I don't really know how to account for that. So... We'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll be somewhat close to where I want to be. It'd be nice to to make it. Alright, let's shut this down. Do a tiny bit of burning. And call that pretty good. It's going to be nighttime, isn't it? I believe it is. So I'm not going to ditch this this stage until we get into the atmosphere because... I'm, I'm worried I might need it to make some sort of adjustments. Alright, let's just warp and see how this goes. What altitude are we at? 140. Yeah, we're, we're definitely losing altitude. And is that moving yet? No, that's not. The path there isn't moving. Oh, I think... I think this might work pretty well. Yeah, we're going to be hitting the atmosphere pretty soon. I don't know how the drag's going to affect that. I don't know how I should have accounted for that, but... Alright, we hit the atmosphere. See how things are looking. 
It's too bad it's going to be night. Is that the reflection of the moon? It is. Alright, so I think we actually don't need this other stage. So it's probably going to be a good idea to ditch that. Can't really maneuver away from it at all because... Well, I have no way of doing that. Well, I guess we're drifting apart now, aren't we? What's oh, we're we're gonna be well short. I I did I should have overshot a little bit more of the drag in the atmospheres. We're gonna land on the west coast here, I think, instead. That's too bad. Oh well. Live and learn. Oh, this thing is gonna just be spinning. That's fine with me. They must be pretty sick right now, though. So we get to about like. 25 or 30,000 meters I'm going to hit the parachute. Hopefully that will work. Let's see what happens here. Do we actually just go over? I don't know where we are. No, the west coast. I mean the yeah, the west coast is coming up over there. All right, let's hit this thing. Hopefully something's going to it looks like we're yep yep we're stabilizing no we're not man it's gonna be rough when the atmospheric friction actually becomes a problem because my heat shield was not facing the planet almost at all that whole time so that's gonna be something to to work worry about yep we're gonna hit almost the dead center of this ocean instead so keep in mind next time we want to land over there we have got to overshoot probably aim if we're off by this much probably aim like there when we come down close to there it doesn't really matter they've got ships everywhere I'm sure they can send the Kerbal Navy to come get us I'm sure it will work out just fine let's fast forward as much as we can Yeah, I would be freaking out too. Must really suck to do that at night. At least we landed in water. Pretty sure we're not gonna die because we landed in the water. In some of my test games, I landed in mountain ranges and there wasn't enough air or something like that to get the parachute to open fully. So I would hit the ground at like, you know, 13 and a half meters per second. And apparently that is too much for this this capsule to take. But over the water you're just fine because it's at sea level, so always enough atmosphere and plus I think the water helps cushion it a little more I'm gonna go back down to normal speed here because it's yep there it goes and I think we're gonna be good yeah they should be just fine 200 100 And safe and sound, look at that. Alright, so we successfully did achieve orbit, so I guess the next goal is going to have to be to just uh, achieve orbit and shoot for the moon, try to orbit the moon, and I'm not sure if we're going to try to land. I'm going to have to design a lander, though, in the next video, so we'll do that and try to get something that's going to have enough fuel to actually get us all the way there. It gets a lot more complicated because every small piece you add to the final stage means you need that much more fuel in the bottom stages so the rocket's going to get a lot bigger so might not make it on our first shot but we'll give it a try